Hey y'all, how y'all doing? So before I get into the bullshit, I wanted to take a minute to acknowledge my one year YouTube anniversary that has approached. It has been a year since I started my YouTube channel and uploaded my first video and I'm still here. All right. I hope that you all continue to follow me on my journey throughout the world of entertainment. YouTube was just the beginning. I'm currently working on other projects and I can't wait to share them with y'all. Okay. For those of you who want to see my channel continue to grow, please continue to like and share my channel with others. All right. Thank you to those of you who donate to my channel. By the way, thank you, um, Jamila, for your cash app the other day. If any of you would like to cash app me today for my YouTube anniversary, you most certainly can. And the good thing about that is that it comes directly to me. All right. My cash app is, of course, the dollar sign True T 911. And it's also listed in the about section of my YouTube channel. All right. So let's move on to who I came here to talk about. Like literally my first YouTube video consisted of me talking about these two clown ass pineapple head ass bitches as in Martell and Ariane y'all. Now here it is. <laughs> this is what I find to be interesting. Okay. Ariane is forever blaming the bloggers for bad attention, okay, for the bad attention that she gets. However, it's her that continues to run to social media to put her shit out there. She loves talking shit about the bloggers, but she does shit like this to get attention from the bloggers. You know what I mean? She know what her position in Martell's life is, okay? Because she has been playing that same position for damn near a decade now. She knows that she will never be Martell's main chick or his only chick. The nigga don't even want to be seen out in public with her, even though he has no problem being seen with other bitches like Sheree, which is why I'm here now because Ariana's is in her feelings yet again, because Martell has been seen posing it up with Sheree and has even filmed for future episodes of Real Housewives of Atlanta. Okay. These bitches that Martell is messing around with are living the life that Ariane want. You know what I'm saying? And that shit is really digging at her, in my opinion, because I know that Martell has made her all kinds of promises, in my opinion. And the only one that he done probably kept is when they fucking and he said he about to come, in my opinion. And his coming has led to a baby that she thought was going to bag him, but instead pushed him further away. Okay? Because he probably looks at that baby as the reason for the demise of his marriage. That's the way that he thinks, in my opinion. Everything that's happening to Ariane, especially... The debilitating embarrassment, you know, it's something that she brought upon herself because she continues to mess with him. Yeah, they got a baby together. Yeah, y'all got a baby together. Okay, because I know she listens to my channel. You can definitely relocate with that baby and get the fuck away from my tail. If he can travel throughout the country and go and fuck on different bitches, he can travel to whatever state you decide to move to. Okay. To see his son. And if, if that's what he want to do. And if he don't, that's fine too in my opinion. Because at the end of the day, what can he possibly teach Knox? Alright? Or his other son. How to lie. How to cheat on they, their wives. When they get one. How to steal ATMs. How to misspell words. How to disrespect women. How to steal money out of their wives' accounts. How to make babies outside of their marriage. How to fail. How to use people. How to be a narcissist. How to be a trash ass nigga. In my opinion, Knox would probably be just fine without his ass. Okay. And when Martell comes to, to your house, I highly doubt it. If, you know, it has shit to do with him wanting to see Knox. He wants to see Ariane, y'all. He wants to see Ariane because for over eight years, she has been his cum bucket. It sounds harsh, but that's just the truth. In my opinion, he knows that no matter who he's with, he can always knock on her door for a quick nut. And that's her fault. Because she allows it. This is the nigga she was loyal to for years. The nigga she fought so hard to be with and still ain't with. Because he don't want to ass. Never wanted to ass. He used it. And she used him. And that's what it is. This is what happens when you're adamant about having somebody else's husband. It ain't going to never work out for you. You know what I'm saying? It ain't going to never work out how you have it painted in your head. It's like, how many times does this nigga got to make her look like the dumbest bitch in the world before she gets it? Right now, you know, she's trying to put him on blast for coming to her house after allegedly leaving Sheree's bed. But in a few days, she'll be back online liking all of his pictures and talking shit about the bloggers again. The same bloggers she wanted to pick this shit up. She put Martell's uh, emails out once again because she wanted the bloggers to pick this shit up and talk about it. Okay? So Sheree and whoever else Martell is messing with will know that Martell is still trying to fuck on her. My thing is, you know, what's the problem? You know? Because she's the same bitch that got online and said that Martell was free to be with whomever he wanted to be with, including her. That shit was so unbelievable. 
you know, when it came out of her mouth, I had to do a video on it. So I, you know, I remember when she said that shit, she operates as a side chick, in my opinion, 24 hours of the day from the outside looking in. It's like, she's a 24 hour on call fuck for Martel. You know, it got to leave you wondering if she itching and burning, you know what I'm saying? Like for a nigga to slide out of one bitch and into her, not only is that, you know, disgusting, but it's dangerous. Like I would literally still be wearing my mask if I was anywhere near Martel. He is like a walking STD to me. Like it probably ain't even safe to breathe around his ass. You know what I'm saying? COVID may be over, but people can still catch the Martell in my opinion. No telling how many women are currently sharing Martell. And the fact that Ariane will continue to open her legs, her mouth and everything else up for this nigga. It's insane. You know what I'm saying? Like, bitch, go somewhere and get your life together. Get the fuck offline telling us what Martell is doing because we don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it gets us a bag when we talk about it, but we don't really give a fuck about what Martell is doing to you. It's just something to talk about. Like, bitch, you look crazy. You continue to do the same shit over and over again. Okay? Y'all, her and Martell are like hamsters that keep going round and round on that little fucking wheel. You know, he's made it very clear that he does not belong to her. Yet she gets upset when he's spotted out with other women and runs to social media. Okay? He manipulates her into being okay with that. And then she goes somewhere and sit down. That's what they do. You know what I'm saying? Then when he's seen with somebody else and she has that same response, it's like, bitch, why is you mad? He didn't show you where you stood in his life, which is a bad woman. Yet you still allow him to do it. You look crazy. And motherfuckers are laughing at you because you are the same bitch that said that you took male's man with your eyes closed. When the reality of the matter is that you never had him. And if he gave one fuck about you, ain't no way he would be able to hop around with another bitch knowing that it's got you feeling how you feeling. Because you are most definitely in your feelings. I don't give a fuck if the relationship, you know, with him and Sheree is fake or not. If he cared about you, he wouldn't be able to do the shit that he's doing. Everybody in Martell's life, in my opinion, serves a purpose for him and your purpose in his life. You know what I'm saying? Was and still is sex, which is why he came knocking on your door the other day. If you had a fucking uh, visitation schedule in place for him, ain't no way he would be able to bang on your door whenever he wanted to. He did what you have allowed him to do. You know what I'm saying? Now, you may not have let him in that night. Because he was out taking pictures and filming with uh, Sheree. So you mad. But eventually, you won't let him back in. Because that's what you do. So we the people don't understand why you run into social media with the bullshit. Unless you're ready to leave him the fuck alone. Like you should have done eight, nine years ago. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, just shut the fuck up. The sad part is that you're only, what, 31, 32? You can still recover from this bullshit. But you gonna fuck around and let this nigga run your ass into the ground. He already got you out here looking like a sweaty ass James Brown. And you walking around with a fucking liquor bottle in your purse. How far over the edge are you going to let this bastard, you know what I'm saying? This bald head, illiterate, no good, trash ass bastard push you. You know what I'm saying? Leave the nigga alone and let whatever bitch who's stupid enough to want him have him. You know what I'm saying? Because trust me, when I tell you, they ain't getting much. And Sheree is just ridiculous in my opinion. Because, you know, in the blink of an eye, that bitch going to be 60 years old. And ain't got an ounce of sense. There's probably no hope for her. However, you know, Ariane, she can still go and find her some damn sense if she tried, I guess. But she continues to be stupid. And for what? Do she honestly think that Martell is going to eventually leave those other women alone and just be with her? It's not going to happen, in my opinion. Martell is a whore, in my opinion. And he's going, you know, he's doing exactly what whores do. Which is bop around from one bitch to the next. You know what I'm saying? If he's good, if he if he's not good to his wife, it's like how dumb is she to think that he's going to change for her? Take your L, cause the fact of the matter is that, you know, he's the nigga that you chose to fuck with, knowing who he was and what he was. Which was somebody's husband. Somebody's no good ass husband. You thought because you was what young and had long hair and let him play around in every one of your holes on demand that he was going to wife you. Okay, bitch. It's been about what? 10 years almost since you started fucking with him. And he hasn't even as much as claimed you. It's like move the fuck on. He has. The only time he fuck with you in my opinion is when he want a nut. He don't respect you at all. 
Now let's get into her rant, okay? And these emails that she once again brought to social media. I'm guessing to expose Martel or embarrass him or whatever because we already know who and what Martel is. You know what I'm saying? She's the only one who seems to be clueless. Right when we were about to send somebody out to do a wellness check, here she go with some more bullshit because she and her feelings about seeing Martel with Sheree. And I don't understand that because Martel has shown her over and over again, like I said, who and what he is. But yet she continues to try to paint a different picture of him. She keep believing the lies that he tell her because they sound better than the truth. But where is it getting her? And it's like, girl, people don't pity you. You know what I'm saying? Because... I think you're the same bitch that said you like Martel better when he was married. It was all good when he had your ass riding around in that red BMW with your name happily spelled out on the license plates. You was proud to be riding around in a BMW that was purchased with his wife's money, in my opinion. Now you're looking and feeling stupid because not only is he not able to give you, you know, expensive things anymore other than a baby, but you still allow him to fuck you while he's out here publicly fucking on other bitches. Bitch, we suffering from secondhand embarrassment. Your clownery is affecting us all. Please stop. But let's get into, you know, this Instagram shit, y'all. So she said that, you know, he got back in town stressed because she wasn't answering the phone. So according to her, since she wasn't answering the phone, he popped up at her house. She said, we about to start doing stuff in real time. My question is, okay, wasn't they already doing shit in real time? Being stupid in real time? Anyway, she says... I let his first show play me so hard. By the time I caught on two years into the shit, they had made up so many lies about me. I look crazy defending myself. Y'all, they had me, what did she say? Y'all, they had and still have me fucked up. Okay, so it's like, first of all, because I'm going to dress the shit as I read along. The show didn't play you. Not once did Carlos or anybody else down from on tell you that you were going to be on the show. Okay. The nigga you was probably fucking told you that. Therefore, Martel played you. And you played yourself for believing that shit. Okay? That shows the magnitude of your stupidity and mental illness, in my opinion. Because ain't no bitch in her right mind gonna believe that she is about to get on the show of the bitch whose husband she's fucking. Okay? At that point, bitch, you had told Mel to put her husband on the phone. At that point, you had told Mel about all the things her husband was doing uh, to you. Okay? To get her to leave you. The same shit you're doing now. To try to get Sheree and whoever else to leave Martel alone. I would be ashamed to say I'm fucking a nigga who don't want to be seen in public with me. But you have no shame. In your mind, I think you feel like there's some kind of value in being a nigga's everlasting cum bucket. And I'm here to tell you that it's not. And there was not one lie told about you on the show. You are indeed the bitch that Martel was messing around with. And getting pregnant while married to his wife. And you talking about you look crazy defending yourself because they made up all those lies. What lies? You look crazy because, girl, you look crazy because you honestly thought that you was about to be happy with somebody else's husband. You look crazy because you thought that you was uh, about to use male show to become a star. You look crazy going around, you know, talking like male had did something to you when it was you fucking her husband. Bitch, that's why you look crazy. And you still look crazy because this nigga done disrespected you and embarrassed your ass about your shoes and you still fucking with him. Your self-esteem is in the gutter. And that's just how Martel likes his women. Easy to manipulate. Men love a good dummy. And you are overly qualified. This nigga can literally tell you, you know what I'm saying? (sighs) Not tell you, but take you. This nigga can literally take you by the hand and climb to the highest mountaintop and shout to the world that you ain't shit to him. And you will be okay with that as long as he eat your ass afterwards. You know what I'm saying? So you can tell his other bitch that he did it. Just sick. But back to her rant, y'all. She said he's called, um, what did she say? She said he's called me 15 times claiming he's looking for Knox and emailed as well. By the way, he wasn't concerned about him this weekend. Now, word has it that, you know, Ariane might be lying and acting like that was Martel calling her when it was actually, you know, her calling herself from another phone. Just like folks thought that she was in the parking lot looking for a car that wasn't there. I most certainly wouldn't put it past her because it ain't hard to see that she ain't got it all. She ain't got it all up, up, up top. I don't even know if her elevator made it past the basement level. Okay. 
So the screenshots that she took of the calls that were, you know, allegedly coming in, it was showing that they were from a private number when, you know, his number has to be programmed in her phone unless she erased it after she saw him with Sheree this weekend. Or, you know, maybe he called from a, a block number. I don't know, to try to get her to pick up. OK, also, I was thinking that maybe she called him all weekend while he was with Sheree and he didn't answer, which is why she's mad and saying that he wasn't worried about Knox this weekend when he was with Sheree filming for yet another show she won't be on. OK, and speaking of show, I heard that Martell got into a heat, uh, a heated altercation with uh, Kenya Moore from Real Housewives of Atlanta during filming. And, you know, I was just thinking that he is one bitch ass nigga. You can't tell me that he don't bleed every month. And not from cutting his wrist every time he realized that Mel ain't going to take his ass back. Like, I feel like he just got to have a monthly cycle like every other woman. How the fuck you going to be on one show arguing and fighting with a woman as in Mel and then take your ass over to another show fighting with another woman? Because you yourself is probably a woman at heart, in my opinion. This nigga straight up got bitch tendencies. He might as well see if they're going to do a reboot for uh, Golden Girls and see if he can be a part of that. He can play Blanche. And I'm assuming y'all all know why. And Ariane can play roles, and I know y'all got to know why. And maybe Sheree can be Sophia. I don't know. Just an idea. But anyway, y'all. So Ariane said that, you know, he pops up talking about where my son, uh, where's my son? I'm in the house trying to hide like I'm not home. I just don't feel like his BS. This man really got out that lady bed and drove straight to my house from Atlanta. He's so slick. He has his car and walks to the backyard. Whole time I'm thinking he's gone. Next thing I know, he's banging on the back door talking about, ha ha, I see you trying to hide. I jump trying to peep around. I get Knox ready, sit him outside in the front with his bag and car seat. And he then tells me I'm going to come back and get him uh, when I get my other kids. But I thought you wanted your son so bad. Yeah, right. LOL. He's sorry. I'm sorry or whatever. And then it says, Inspector Gadget really tried it today. Now, that was confirmation, okay, y'all? That Inspector Gadget line, that was confirmation that she be over here on my page. Because, you know, she for sure got that Inspector Gadget from one of my previous videos. And she also mentioned Bob the Builder not too long ago after I did, uh, after I did in one of my previous videos. Her and her baby daddy stay copying off of people. You know what I'm saying? Since she be over here listening to my shit, hopefully she takes my advice and get her life together because, you know, she's straight out here looking crazy as shit. You are crazy as shit, Ariane, okay? And you're looking apart. Now, taking it back to him popping up at her house, talking about, you know, where my son, like he was there for anything other than ass and head and whatever else Ariane served to his ass on a platter. If she had a visitation schedule in order, she wouldn't have to worry about shit like this. If he pop up outside of his schedule, that's what the police are for. You know, I don't doubt that he did this at all, okay? Because he did it to Mel. When Mel moved out and got her own place for her and the kids, they were outside playing basketball, you know, in the front, and Martel came pulling up knowing that it wasn't his time with the kids. Mel had to shut it down because when she asked him, you know, what are you doing here? He told her, wherever my kids are, I'm popping up. This is why you can't play with a nigga like him. You got to lay the law down because a nigga like him don't like rules. So, of course, he going to try to do what he want to do, especially if he know that he'll get away with it. Now, as far as her hiding so he wouldn't, you know, know that she was at home. How sad is it to, you know, fight to be with somebody else's husband only to never get him and then end up stuck with his baby and playing peekaboo and hide and seek in a rented house that she probably shared with her mama. You know what I'm saying? Hashtag when sad chicken goes wrong. And I can definitely see Martel hiding his car and walking to her backyard like the fucking mentally ill stalker that he is, in my opinion. Because let's not forget, this is the same as goofy nigga that followed his ex-wife, as in male, to a restaurant to record her out with, you know, the guy that she was with. After the, vo the divorce was final, as if she was doing something wrong. And he done made a whole baby with another bitch while he was still married. He's a fucking lunatic, in my opinion. You know, I can definitely picture him laughing at Ariane's back door saying, ha ha, I see you trying to hide. Just crazy as shit. And then she said that she got the baby ready and sat his little ass outside with his bag in his car seat only for Martel to tell her that he'll come back and get him when he gets his other kids. He didn't come to her house because he wanted that baby. 
He wanted to make sure that Ariane was in the house instead of someone with another nigga, even though he was someone with another bitch. That's how they do. You know what I'm saying? Because he knew that she was going to see those pictures of him and Sheree. In my opinion, you know, as soon as he spotted her in the house, what did he do? He left. That was all he needed was to see her in the house. You know what I'm saying? His ass was like, now nah, I can sleep knowing that the bitch I use as a cum bucket is at home and not somewhere being a cum bucket for somebody else. You know what I'm saying? He stopped beating on the door and left, according to Ariane. If that don't show her that she needs to move the fuck on, nothing will. Because if, you know, Martel don't do nothing else, he going to do him. And he knows that Ariane is going to be right there, <clears throat> excuse me, waiting there for him when he gets done. And even then, he going to still do him. Why he doing her? And that poor baby sounds like he was just by himself, you know, just waiting on the porch like a fucking package. I hope it wasn't raining. And I hope it wasn't cold. And I hope it wasn't no damn coyotes wandering around the neighborhood. This is the shit that happens when Ariane and Martel are your parents. Poor baby gonna be depressed before he even make it to kindergarten. Shit, he look it now. I don't never see him smile. But like I said, look at who his parents is. Does he really have a reason to smile? So Ariane was showing all of his messages where he was supposedly calling her, you know, disrespectful and, you know, her telling him that she owes him nothing and blah, blah, blah. And then him telling her that, you know, he was sorry, just ridiculous. So then, you know, it goes to say, um, she says, this has been my life for years now. Y'all seeing some BS on TV. And it's like, first of all, bitch, stop acting like this ain't the life that you chose. Ain't nobody put a gun to your head and make you jump down on a married man's dick and stay there for eight to nine years. That was a decision you made. And now you're dealing with everything that comes with it, which is what toxicity, embarrassment, and whatever else you're getting from Martel that got your ass over there stressed the fuck out. So then y'all, she said, you know, um, <laughs> In honor of him trying to steal her piece that day, she was given a discount on her clothes at her boutique, you know, um, and a discount code was going to be inspect the gadget. She steals my lingo. You know what I'm saying? Steals males discount code strategy, steals people's husbands. Why she can't go steal some common sense? Her and her stupid ass baby daddy. Then stole Sheree's tagline. Damn, is anything safe around now? Retarded copycats. That's going to be their rock group name, the retarded copycats, because pretty soon they're going to have to get together and perform, start a group and perform in somebody's subway just to make ends meet. Neither one of them have any business sense. You know what I'm saying? So I don't see their businesses going anywhere. Martel going over there to this new show, fighting with people, ain't going to fuck up the bag there. You know what I'm saying? If he even getting paid. So, y'all, Ariane continued on saying, you know, crazy, right? I didn't bother him all weekend. I never do. I let him party at the Chateau. And it's funny how she says she let him as if she really has a say when it comes to where he goes and what he does. At this point, you know, there really isn't much more to say. Like, how much more of her life is she going to dedicate to being stupid? Before you know it, she's going to look up and she's going to be 50 years old, still talking about he was just at my house eating my ass on Saturday and banging on my door on Sunday. But on no day. Has he or will he ever see her as nothing more than his human cunt bucket? Because that's what she's allowed herself to be for years. It's just sad at this point. Just sad. She's trying to run the other women away as if that's going to change her position. Mel divorced him and gave him to her and he still ain't with her. Never been with her ass and never will be. It's crazy how she get on social media, you know, looking for sympathy when this is a nigga that she wanted. She put herself in this position and she online complaining, but she knows that, you know, she enjoys Martel banging on her door because when, you know, uh, she enjoys it. I don't care because when he don't bang on her door, she gets mad. He wasn't banging on her door over the weekend because he was with Sheree. So now she mad. And y'all, that's all I got to say about these two dummies. Y'all take care. Now I'll chat with y'all in the next one.